Alright guys, hello, hello everyone. I've uh, made this script uh, that basically allows you to farm some sugarcane for the Hypixel server. So I've got this uh, farm in front of me. And I'm just going to be using my script on this farm and just see what it basically does. So uh, off we go. So if I was to uh, go here, now I'm going to release my fingers from the keyboard and just use my mouse to press a few buttons. From the moment I press this button, I'm not going to be touching the keyboard and I'm just going to watch it do its thing. So, what it's doing is that it's basically, you're basically just sprinting uh, down the lane. Um, so it's pressing forwards and the right hand side, but, but the right button at the same time to look slightly diagonally to the side. This allows it to run slightly faster and to be able to break both sides of the sugarcane lane, so to speak. Um, you'll have other see so notice. You'll have you also notice a small thing. That kind of bobs up and down from time to time, uh, and that's just to be able to get the XP from farming. Because uh, from a f a f I think it was five seconds after not moving your head, you're not going to be getting any, any XP at all on Hypixel. So yeah, this is just completely automated uh, right now. Let's press a five. Have a look at that. Five. Yep. There we go. Uh, so yeah, um, it's just going through, uh, what is there to say? Uh, there is a slight uh, variation as well, so it, so once it's done two lanes and it's full, it will automatically go in, craft what you need. There's a little bit of debug on the left hand side, but I'm just going to remove that. Um, so yeah, it's crafting, slowly, but uh, surely. There you go, and it's once it's crafted enough, uh, uh, it'll realize that you don't have what it takes to um, to do it. So then it'll just go inside the um, ender chest and place your sugar automatically in there uh, by itself. And then once it's done all that, it's just going to continue uh, all by itself. And yeah. And the way you can make this 100% automatic is to have one teleporter on one side of the farm, one teleporter on the opposite side of the farm, and then you can just run this day in, day out, uh, without much hassle, really. Um, you can see that there's a slight adjustment on the side, uh, so you can look to this, and that's to counter the fact that you're looking slightly to the left. So yeah. I'm just going to speed through, I suppose, or just get to the end. So, as I said, every two rows, it, uh, it crafts, just to empty out the inventory a little bit. You can see on the right-hand side the amount of sugarcane. I think it, it, it misses quite quite a few, but I mean, it's, 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 it's fine um, for the amount that you're actually picking up. So, um, yeah, let's go craft again. So it clicks the nether star and then it clicks the crafting grid, places it all in. Um, I, I made it so it puts the stuff inside the crafting grid um, at a slow pace. I don't want to be detected by any anti cheat, uh, like Watchdog or something like that, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, I could make it so it does not look in the chest that often, but um, it currently does. Um, so yeah, it's it's gonna do this. I think it it'll do this um, six times. So I've I've made it so that it uh, res it does that every two lanes. I mean, it crafts every two lanes and then. It will do two lanes about six times, so it'll do six times two lanes. So in total, I'm going to harvest about 12 lanes in this one, uh, just by sitting back on my chair or while being AFK. Um, so yeah, uh, you're getting XP constantly, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to, I'm not moving the mouse at all, you can see that it's like flicking up automatically. Uh, yeah, just laying back on my chair watching this happen. Now, I, I did this as a commission for someone, and I'm actually not quite sure what that uh, protected sugar uh, actually represents. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but yeah, whatever. Um, 
getting quite a lot of it out of it. So I'm just gonna go there. Let's open the auto crafting grid. I haven't encountered many bugs. Uh, when I do encounter bugs, I usually fix them, like that. Uh, that um, text on the side. So yeah, you get about ten. Uh, oh, there's a bug. So yeah, it does bug sometimes where you do get the stack of sugar. Uh, I haven't found a distinction yet for the for the sugar, but uh, but yeah, you do sometimes get the odd stack of sugar. It's uh, it's not every time, and you only get like max a stack. Um, so yeah. That's probably a little fix I'm going to be doing now, but uh, it's not. It's no big deal. I'm going to stop after this and. Yeah. Alright. Is that going to be a bug? No, no paper in the inventory, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, then it just puts it inside, and I'm going to stop the script there because it, it could it could then continue uh, afterwards. I uh, noticed how it also flicked from the um, start of the hoe and just continued farming. So yeah, I'm I'm just going to like stop the script there. You can see uh, it does it does uh, not get all of them, but it does get like. A nice little majority of them, and it's still very efficient. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the script. You can just use this uh, on any size of farm. This is like a big type of farm, I suppose. It's only five blocks. Uh, so now let's get to the actual config. So if you want to go and check the config, uh, I've got the sugarcane harvest there. Let's go. Uh, there, so I've got my, I I binded my button my script to the button here, and if I was going to check the script out, here you would have the config. So the runtime that's the actual time that it takes to run down uh, this row, all the way all the way down to the bottom. So you if you've got a smaller farm, larger farm, you just have to play with that number. Next up, you you have the repeat. So this is the amount of times you want to do two rows. So for example, if you have a small farm, you might want to do four rows and then repeat every, you know, repeat those four rows like five times or something like that. Uh, it really depends. That's up to you. This is kind of what works nicely. For example, here's two times six. So that's 12 rows. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve over there. And it'll do those rows as well. So that's how. Now that's how it works. Now these are the more technical ones, technical config. And this is the adjustment. So the adjustment is basically when you're going down this way, it's basically what uh, drags you back. So otherwise, without the adjustment, you'd just be going like this. So adjustment like pushes you back. And then you have the adjustment duration. So a long adjustment duration would be like this, and a short adjustment duration would be like would be like this. That's a very short one. Very long and very short adjustment. So next and then you have the adjustment frequency which is here, frequency of the adjustment. Um, and the frequency of the adjustment is just how often you do them. Like this is a very high frequency of 
this is lots of small adjustments at a high frequency so um, the smaller the frequency number is the more frequent you um, have the adjustments at. Uh, the adjustments just to be clear, uh, just to be clear are the movements to the right that I'm currently doing um, every time. So there's that. Next up in the um, things you have the pitch and your uh, the pitch and your variation. Uh, the your variation is whether you're looking this way or that way when you're going down the lane. So it could be this way or it could be that way. That's the your variation. And pitch is basically if you're looking slightly high, it's sl high or low. So this is, would be a higher pitch, lower pitch, I mean more negative, high negative and closer to zero. That's how the pitch works uh, on the macro mod. And then you have the general direction of the farm. So that's basically uh, as I'm going down uh, the farm, I'm currently face I'm currently going down um, in this direction, so north. I'm going down these uh, lanes in yeah in the north direction. So I'll be going like this, round down, and then arrive here, go this way. But I'm I'm, I'm moving in a general north direction as I'm going down. So that's the uh, general config. So uh, I have also added a little treble um, with the view. So you are looking uh, down like that, and that's to allow you to get XP uh, mining, uh, mining, harvesting XP. Yeah, harvest. It looks like farmer XP or whatever uh, you get from Hypixel. So it kind of like keeps the mouse moving, and you get that XP. So it's more, it's like an XP farm type script as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's my script for Hypixel at least. Um, and yeah, um, just this is just a showcase. I do do. I mean, I do make scripts for people, and this is one script I've made for someone. So yeah, if you have any commissions, um, I guess I'm gonna set up a Fiverr page or something like that. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated down in the description or if you're interested otherwise um, if you're just there to see how Minecraft can be automated then this is one of the examples I've got a few other examples on my channel and I'm um, you can stay subscribed to my channel because I'm gonna be having a tutorial up or a few macro mod tutorials so you'll all be able to make scripts of your own very soon uh, from the tutorials that I'll be putting up uh, for free. So yes, um, stay tuned, uh, click that subscribe button if you're interested in any more macro mod content or whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time.